Here we go, folks. Excellent music here, back with another video. And I just wanted to show you folks these jeans. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people have seen these jeans a few times, you know, over, you know. But I'm here to show you guys again. Pretty much show you how I style uh, the True Religion Ricky Super T jeans, you know. Mine are a little uh, flavorful, should I say. Custom made with the rhinestones. Uh, Skorbosky rhinestones. They have uh, the citrine and the John Quill. You know, so uh, let me show you how I style them. I pretty much put on, you know, pretty much basic color matching t shirt, you know, and of, of course you got to top it off with the True Religion hat. If it's not the True Religion t shirt as well, but. Um, you know, my True Religion shirt was dirty today, and as you guys can see, I didn't even bother ironing this one or uh, throwing it in a dryer and giving it the dryer method of knocking the wrinkles out. I just, you know, I had to make a quick run, so I decided to throw it on, you know what I mean, with my jeans, you know what I mean, and go get my oil changed, you know what I'm saying? But uh, let me just say, that's pretty much, you know, how I style my shirt. Uh, you know, if you you can tell, uh, I bleached them, you know. Well, let me tell you how the story went, how the story goes. At first, when I first started these customs, the only part was done was this yellow part going through here. The rim, should I say. None of the you, or should I say, the Buddha's mouth. Most people call it the true religion you, the true religion you. It's not the true religion you. If you know anything about true religion... That right there, that's actually the Buddha's mouth. So let me get back to it. The Buddha's mouth, none of that was done. Only the rim of the flap. So a, a month or two went by and I was like, hmm, what am I going to do next? I went on ahead and continued. I did another, the white rim. Then I stopped, you know what I mean? Whew. Take some time, hand studying them one by one by one. So next, I actually bleached them. And when I bleached them, I uh, got the fiddling around on the computer for too long. And let's just say I, I bleached them too much in a few spots to where, you know, they actually started ripping. And that's cool because it gives it that, that ripped look, which I really didn't want, but hey. I should have been paying more attention to the bleaching method and went to go check on my jeans a little sooner. But, uh, let's see. I then also did the U here and finished the rest of the pocket on off. The Buddha's mouth as well, you know, as the rest of the flap. Um, what else? What I need to do is come through the, through the, the fifth pocket here and go through the, the U or the Buddha's mouth, I caught myself saying it, you know, maybe come down, come through the rim of the pocket here, and come down the leg a little bit, you know, put it on with my blazers, it's the, it's the four colorways, one, two, three, four colorway blazers, you know, with the fluffed out tongue, I would like to say, classics. No. And I can put those on with this hat. I love this hat. New True Religion hat. I haven't studied it up yet. We'll, we'll do so in the next couple of days here with my stud gun. But, or you can put it on with this hat. See, I studded this hat up. And you know, I left it uh, mismatched, you know, to go with the whole distressed look of it. Blah, down. And I'm out. Until we meet again.